Well, let, let's say in terms of consumption, right? So what tends to happen with consumption is people buy a lot of coats in the, in the winter and they buy t-shirts in the summer. So if you're using coats as an example or, 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 or purchases of clothing in general, you end up with these very big seasonal patterns. So when you compare, say, January with February, there might be a big change in that in terms of February 12th and January. But if that happens every year, that's not informative, right? That's not telling you anything about what's happening with the economy today. It's telling you what happens to the economy every year in February because there's been a weather change or there's been a holiday or there's been a habit in the way people change that means every February uh, retail sales fall compared with January. So historically in China and in some of the economies, particularly in China, like this sort of monthly stuff didn't make too much difference. All you needed to do was to look at the, the year on year change. So you're looking at February this year compared with February last year. And obviously, if you do that, you get away from that seasonal change from January through to February. That, though, these days is much less useful. And the reason for that is because when the economy is stable, when the year on year growth doesn't change over time, and if you look at any of the data sort of before COVID in China, like retail sales are sort of 8% every year forever, right? So then small changes around the 8% are quite significant in how we should understand the economy. But since COVID, there's huge changes from, from, from month to month. So that year on year, like that base effect is no longer stable. And therefore, it's no longer good enough just look on year on year data. We have to be looking at the month on month change to understand really what's happening with the economy. Now, again, to look at the month on month change, it's no good just looking at the headline data published by the government, because in China, that tends not to be seasonally adjusted. It tends not to adjust for that change in purchasing pattern that happens every year between January and February. So there's a very simple statistical process that you can do, which seasonally adjusts the data, which means then you have, like, you can either look at in level terms or you look at the month-on-month change, and that becomes much more informative in understanding where we are with the current cycle.